Thank you for choosing Smith & Noble. Let's get started on installing your new wood blinds. It's going to be easy since your new blinds have been custom crafted to your exact window dimensions from the highest quality materials. Once in your windows, they will provide you with a lifetime of beauty and trouble-free use. First, carefully remove your new blinds from the packaging. Before you do anything else, inspect the contents and compare with your installation instructions to make sure you have everything. Do not dispose of the packaging until the blind is operating to your satisfaction. Here are simple tools you will need. A pencil, screwdriver, quarter inch nut driver, level, pliers, and a drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit. You'll need the same tools whether you choose to mount your blinds inside your window frame or on the wall or molding. Let's start with inside mounted blinds. Place the mounting brackets level flush with your window frame. Your brackets must be securely attached to the mounting surface. When screwing into a surface, the included screws must hit wood studs. Otherwise, use a secure fastener. You can find them at any hardware store or home center. Drive the screw into the window frame through the holes on the inside of the bracket. If your window has a metal casing, it may be easier to pre-drill the holes. If you've chosen outside mounted blinds, hold the blind in the desired position and mark the window frame or ceiling a quarter inch past each end of the headrail. Remove the blind and place the mounting brackets level on your pencil mark. Be certain that the mounting brackets are aligned with each other. Secure the screws. Extension brackets are used to project the blind out from the mounting surface to clear obstacles such as windows, cranks, casings, and doorknobs. Place extension bracket level on your pencil mark. Be certain that the extension bracket are aligned with each other. Secure extension brackets to the wall with the screws provided. Using the supplied nuts and short bolts, attach mounting bracket to the extension bracket as shown. Large blinds may require a center support bracket. Center support brackets should be spaced evenly along the width of the blind, aligned with the tops and backs of the end brackets. If needed, center support brackets can be attached to the extension brackets like this. Make sure the brackets are positioned so they do not interfere with the operation of the blind. Open the bracket door latches by pushing up on the bottom of the bracket while lifting the bottom of the bracket door up. Slide the headrail into the mounting brackets. Close bracket door latches into the lock position. Once the blinds are installed, check to ensure that all the cords and ladders hang freely. Once you are sure that the blinds are operating properly, install the valance. Snap the plastic valance clips onto the front of the headrail. Make sure the clips are in alignment with the mounting strips on the back of the valance. Snap the valance into the plastic valance clips. Start from the center of the blind headrail and finish one side at a time. For outside mounts, if the side returns are too long, they can be trimmed to sides with a fine tooth saw. Hold down clips are used to secure the bottom rail of the blind in situations where excessive movement may be a problem, such as on a door. To install, place the hold down pins in the bottom rail end holes, lower bottom rail and close slats. Position the hold down clips so that they will align with the pins to secure the bottom rail. Secure hold down clips with screws. To unlock your hold down clips, once mounted, move the bottom rail in the appropriate direction to disengage the pins from the clip. And just that easy, you're ready to operate your new blinds. To raise or lower, tilt slats so that they are in the open position. Then pull cord toward the middle and down to release the cord lock. When the blind is at the desired height, return the cord lock to the vertical position to engage the cord lock. Minimal care and cleaning is needed to maintain the beauty of your Smith & Noble wood blinds. To vacuum, use brush or dust head attachment. To dust, use a soft, clean cloth. One final note about safety. All Smith & Noble blinds are made with tassel systems designed to protect small children and pets if they become tangled in the cords. When the blind is raised, excess cord may hang within the reach of kids or pets. In these situations, use a cord cleat to prevent possible injury. To obtain a cord cleat, call Smith & Noble Customer Service at 800-780-8889. Thanks again for choosing Smith & Noble. 
We hope you'll think of us first whenever you're shopping for custom window treatments. We look forward to seeing you again.